In this video, we'll look at whether barium nitrate, that's BaNO32, is ionic or covalent. So we're talking about the bond between the barium and the nitrate groups. There's two nitrate ions. This is a polyatomic ion called the nitrate ion. So we can find barium on the periodic table, and that's right here. It's a metal. So we have a metal for barium. Nitrogen, that's a nonmetal. And then oxygen right there, that's a nonmetal as well. So when you have a metal bonded to nonmetals, that is going to be an ionic compound. And the bond we're talking about, the ionic bond, that's right here. So when we have ionic compounds, we do need to talk about charge. So barium on the periodic table is in group two. That means it'll have a two plus ionic charge. Then the nitrate, you just need to memorize that NO3, the nitrate, has a one minus charge. We just write a minus. So we have two times the one minus. We have two minus, two plus. Those charges balance out and we have a net charge of zero. Now we have this positive ion here and we have two of these negative ions. The positive and the negative ions, they attract and that's what forms an ionic bond. It's the bond between these ions here. Let's talk briefly about the nitrate ion though. For the nitrate ion, we said that nitrogen, that's a nonmetal, and that oxygen is also a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal bonded together, metal and nonmetals bonded together, that means that we have covalent bonds. So the bonds between the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms here in this nitrate ion, that's going to be covalent. But overall, the barium, the metal, and the nonmetals, that means that this entire thing is an ionic compound. So we have our ionic bond between the barium and the nitrates, but the nitrates, the oxygens and the nitrogens, those are covalently bonded. This is Dr. B answering the question whether barium nitrate, BaNO32, is ionic or covalent. It is ionic. Thanks for watching.